Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to Old and Lavu's Mystic Channel. I'm Huga Chris. Welcome to this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. I hope everybody's doing well out there. Let me go ahead and say hello to my Haitian viewers as well. Hello, salut, tout Huga, tout ma beau, tout vodoisan, tout moun, bezo koneki jan tout moun ye jodia. Et puis, m'de besoin de nous consacrer, pas oublier que Gay Pride a nan octobre le 20, 21, 18. Et nan Gainesville, Florida, nous pas le faire li. M'bal la, m'bal fe kat, m'ap van balen, m'ap van si wil, si bagay sa yo. Et si ke n'ap e, soti non l'autre kote, n'ap voyage, toujou make sure ke nou protege et tet nou, toujou make sure ke gon moun qui connaît que vous avez voyagé, vous avez venu dans le Pride là pour citer n'importe quel bagage qui arrive, on ne connaît pas qu'on y est, on a fait police, on a quitté, on ne connaît pas qu'on a été déplacé pour aller. Et après ça, je parle tout le monde en anglais pour tout le monde qui connaît qui ça m'a dit. So today we're going to talk about your responsibilities as not only as a spiritual person, but your the responsibility you have to your spirituality no matter what it may be because sometimes i know in our faith and our religion we tend to and and i'm talking about from a personal experience as well too sometimes when we have our godmothers and our godfathers and stuff like that and i'm going back way back that we think that they need to show us everything it is that we're gonna know in the faith and that's what we depend on because sometimes that's what they promise us so the minute or even <laughs> that they start acting different and they stop teaching they stop communicating they stop showing you things we try to figure out why is that i know me once somebody does not not only because i'm haitian and i know what the attitude and everything is all about but I read exactly into what that means because I know the people. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I thought that it was just Haitian. It's not true. It's in the Spanish culture. It's in the West. It's in the um the Obia. It's in the um Umbanda. Whatever it is where you need a leader. It happens in the church. No matter what where it is that you're depending on another human being to teach you what it is that you need to know for you to be able to continue on your path of spirituality, it, it's, it's not true. Take responsibility to teach yourself as well. And you know why I'm saying that? It's because I remember when I did my initiation 2002, 2003, 2004, and 2004 was the best one. I got everything I needed. But the relationship between me and that godmother didn't continue, okay? For whatever reason, no matter if it was my fault, her fault, but I forgive the situation because I depended on her 100% because that was what was promised to me. And as you get older, that's why they say you live and you learn and that if you have a mindset and you're reaching into your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, and you still think somebody owe you something, that means that you haven't grown. And you definitely haven't grown spiritually. Because if you know the word, and you know what it takes for you to build that intimate relationship that you have with God, the saints, the spirits, there's no way another human being can give that to you. Okay? Another thing, too, is ego. Ego. A lot of people don't understand that if you have that ego where you think that you're the best reader, you think you're the best huga, mambo, santera, santero, babalao, you are mistakenly, sadly, delusional, any thoughts possible, you're wrong. Because... To be able to grow is for you to be able to further your education spiritually. Somebody can't give you that because you have to understand the intimacy that's in between you and the spirits. First of all, 
let me explain something to you. There's certain herbs, there's certain powders, there's certain oils that they have specially and made in a, in a, in a setting, an atmosphere in these countries that is more potent than anything you can find in the States. Because not only that you have prayer, you have songs, you have dance, you have spirit um, possessions in all of these faiths. So those things are charged very powerfully. But what happens when we don't have access to that anymore? Or we don't have the contact in Haiti, in um, uh, uh, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Brazil. We don't have access to our family or our godparents who put us on the path. And we don't have those anymore. We have, we have to learn how to substitute. And the only way you're going to know how to substitute is if you read. You have to spend money on your spirituality in order for you to grow. I don't care which way you look at it. I don't care how poor, how broke, how rich, whatever. If you don't make time and invest yourself into that spiritual study, into that, that, that bubble that we put ourselves in in order for us to be able to talk about our knowledge on the candles and the oils and how charging them, how to mark them, what psalm to say, what prayers to say. That comes from research. It comes from oral, um, uh, passed down from generation to generation. If you're lucky, what if you're not lucky? What if you don't have somebody that was able to do that for you? And let's say, for instance, they opened up that door for you to get put on the path and something happened to them and you didn't have no more access. What are you going to do? You can't just sit there and say, boo hoo, how am I going to learn? You got to step outside sometimes out of your own culture tradition in order to be able to learn what it is that you may have access to until those spirits make a way for you to be able to get back to the homeland to do what it is that you need to do. But in the meantime, you still got to support yourself. And if this is the way you make a living, you have to be able to understand and to know, to learn, and to be able to teach. Because you're going to get all kinds of people that's going to come through that door. And if you do not know how to help them, okay? I was in that same trap. I'm not talking because this is somewhere I saw this. I'm telling you my own story as well. You're going to be in trouble. You're going to have to step out that bubble. Let's say, for instance, I live in an in a, um, area where it's 100% um, um, Hispanic. That means that either I'm going to have to have somebody who's either going to be able to translate for me every time I do a reading, which means there's no privacy between me and that client who's confiding in me for me to be able to help them through the reading, then to treat them. It's not private because there's somebody else that's there translating. I can't do that. So therefore, what it is I have to do is I have to be able to learn what their spirits eat, what they drink, what is their days, what is their numbers, what is the do's, what is the don't. And then I mix that with what was taught to me and what I've learned through my years as a priest to be able to cater to that environment. And sometimes don't think that it only happens in Spanish. It happens in black America. It happens in the Haitian culture as well. That's a lot of the stuff that had happened to me. Everything that was always taught to me was in French, was in Creole, all that stuff. So now I had to reteach myself everything over. I had to learn those herbs in English to be able to know to substitute them. That wasn't taught to me. They didn't tell me that I could do that. They told me that Haitian is Haitian, but they didn't say, okay, Chris, this is why, okay, it makes this Haitian. It was always just Haitian. And that was a, that's a problem, but it's not a problem no more because I was able to learn how to step outside that bubble to be able to enlighten myself in a way so that I can be able to help anybody that comes through that door. Okay? And it's, it's one of the best decisions, one of the best things I could have ever done. Not only that I've actually was able to 
get into that, that spiritual school, I call it, to become one with my spiritual guide after all these years, it's one of the most amazing feelings you will ever feel, okay? Because when you are spiritually grounded, nothing else can jeopardize that part in your life that makes you feel special, that makes you feel touched. Whatever it is that it makes you feel, because I know how it makes me feel, okay? And I, it, it, it's speechless, exactly, speechless on what and how it makes you feel. So what I'm saying also is that, that means that when you see all these people that's on YouTube that's showing you how to do candles, baths, herbs, oils, charging from the Wiccan to the Hispanic to the Pagan to the Voodoo to the Santeria, respect them. Pay attention to them. Give that person their credit where it's due. Because do you know how hard it is to come up and to do these videos on a daily basis and teach somebody that you don't even see and that you're speaking to the world. You don't know who you're talking to, how they're going to take this, what they're going to think, what they're not going to think. How were you able to connect, okay, with that individual that you were able to teach? Because you don't know who you're helping. You don't know who you're teaching. You're advertising yourself because you have the confidence to say, I know how to do this. I've learned it. So I'm here because I'm teaching it to you. Okay? Give that person credit. Because it takes a lot of energy. And it takes a lot of focus to be able to do these videos. Okay? So always give that credit. And that's another way too where your spirit is also enlighten you as well. You may not think so because you think because it's coming through a TV or it's coming through and it's it's publicly, it's for everybody. No. If you learn something from watching somebody's video today that you didn't know yesterday, that you didn't know a couple of hours ago, or you didn't learn this the same day, then you're not open and you're not letting yourself be able to receive that message that that spirit is sending to. So what it's it's the way the person talks or it's the way the person delivers it that you may not but the fact that you know it. It's something that you were able to put in your journal, in your notebook, whatever it is how you do your um study. But you didn't know it. And that's exactly how I feel when I see somebody else's video and I'm like, "You know what? You go, girl. You go, boy." That's exactly what I say. Whether I may think the message is long-winded, whether I take the relationship, whether it's a black, a white, Hispanic person, whatever it is, you go, boy. Okay? Go, girl. So, today, your responsibility spiritually to yourself, get to know your spirits on an intimate level. Now, intimate doesn't also doesn't necessarily mean in a sexual way or anything. Anything that's private and that gives you satisfaction is intimately. Okay? No matter what it is. When you develop that relationship with that spirit, nevertheless, if it's that spirit that helps you in any area that you need that spirit to help you in, when you either have to help somebody or help yourself. That spirit is working with you intimately because it's between you and that spiritual guide. Okay? It's one of the best relationships that you can ever build and make sure that, excuse me, it's successful. Think about it. Like I've said in the other videos, when it comes to our relationships that we have with our mothers, our sisters, our fathers, cousins, our lovers, our husbands, our wives, we take those relationships very seriously. Nevertheless, if we're just getting involved with somebody and we're, we're getting to know them, that takes time. It takes interest. It takes energy. It takes patience because no one's perfect. You're going to hear things that is going to make you say, hmm. You're going to be like, okay, how does this person do this? Or how does this person do that? Because that's what we do. 
So it's the same time, energy, patience that you have to do with your spirits for you to get what you want. You can lay in bed two days. And I'm going to tell you, it's happened to me. Two days. And if you don't think about anything that it is that you study, that you read, that you think about spiritually, then you have invested that time. Yes, there is a time where we have to shut off or th stop thinking about all those things that may keep us up or distract us. But once again, that if it was our lover, if it was in our love life, we would give it, we would sit on the phone for hours. We would sit there or we would go to the restaurant. We would go out in dates and stuff like that because that's something that we want. It, it's that human contact that we need and you need to nourish that relationship in order for it to grow. That's exactly what you have to do with the spirits. Okay? Last month, I just did a juke for St. Martha. Okay? The Dominator. Now, St. Martha the Dominator could be a lot of different things, especially in our traditions. It's a, it's a different name in every culture. I know what it is for me. So in order for me to begin that relationship with St. Martha, I've had to have an interest in St. Martha for whatever reason it was. So now it's time for me to trust and grow with that spirit. For me to be able to have that communication, that contact where I can say, boom, I'm going to use St. Martha to do this. Or I'm going to use Jewish to do this. Or I'm going to use Papa Ogu to do this. Because I took in the time to see their strengths, which ones are weak in what area, which ones are powerful in that area, which one I'm going to use to help. Okay? So that's what it's like. So... I know my Jewish. I know my, my, my Jewish, a.k.a. Lama Dama. Okay? I know what she can do. I know her strengths. She works with everything. But let me explain something to you. Sometimes you need a masculine and a feminine combo in order to help in a, uh, in a, a specific situation if you need to help yourself or somebody. There needs to be a balance. So therefore, you can't necessarily use two blacks, okay, in a situation because a situation is not just dark. In order for you to even to get it to go onto that other side, you need the crossroad. So think of it that way. The crossroad is two roads, okay? So one road is black, one, one road is white. It's an intersect. So it's the same thing when we hire or we ask the spirits to help us. And it requires a feminine and a masculine energy. That is what it's like. So, okay, I go to Jewuj for everything it is that I need to do. Most of all, my readings. Okay? But then after that, sometimes, Jewuj, you need some help. That's not a bad thing. It doesn't make her weak. It doesn't make her not this. It doesn't make her not that. That's the relationship that me and her have. That's the synchronism, the intimacy that I've built with her for the last past 16 years. It didn't just start out like that. Years and years and it's still growing. So that is my responsibility spiritually for me to not say blame nobody else. In the past, now, whatever, for whatever it is, I don't know. In order for me to learn and to accept, I have to move on. So I have to let go whatever it is that I had with anybody else in that past that had anything to do with my spiritual life, move on. I've grown from it. I've learned from it. I know what it is that I need now. I know what I don't need. I know what I can accept and what I won't. That's what it's all about. So your responsibility spiritually to yourself is to learn how to become one with your spirit. Learn how to become one with your saints when you petition them. Most of all, get into that bubble where you use God first. Jesus Christ, 
and then you go on from there. Without him, nothing is possible. Nothing is possible. So that's the first thing. Build those relationships like a ladder. Okay? Give your, 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 your reading guide. Okay? Give her a week or give him a week. Next week, give another spirit, your warriors, or your ancestors. Your ancestors always should be acknowledged. Like I've said in the other videos, always make sure your relationship with your ancestors is 100%. Okay? That's another relationship that needs to be nourished on a regular basis. That's why I always say subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other videos so you can learn who I am. What am I about? What's my background? Also, visit my website as well. www.odanlawouge.com Subscribe. Odan Lawouge Mystic Channel. I have plenty of videos. I just don't only talk about voodoo like I've said in my other videos. I talk about everything. Anything that us as humans, beings, whether it's spirituality or just causes in our lives, I talk about it. Reach out to me. There's plenty to go around. There's no such thing as that because you're in Santeria, I'm in Voodoo, that it's 100% different. That's not true. Because the spirits have all the same characteristics, attributes. They're just a different name and they're served a different way because of the cultural difference. That's the only thing that makes it different. And the language. But if you translate the language into English and I tell you how to take care of Dumbala and Obatala in the English and then I mean in the Spanish or Creole and then when it's translated in English, it's still the same thing. Then it's the same thing. It, it, just because you use a statue that they use in Santeria for the Orishas, but you use it for a spirit that you see that it relates to you in the voodoo, that doesn't mean that you're practicing or you serving two different spirits. Not at all. That's another thing that you have to understand as well too. When to baptize a spirit or a saint or a representation of it on the proper name to know how to call it to what it relates to you. That's what all of it is about. Don't put yourself in a situation where you say, oh, that's in that, I, that's, I don't have to learn that. Oh, that's in that, I don't need to learn it because I'm not Haitian, I'm not Hispanic, I'm not Dominican, I'm not Puerto Rican. So, no, no, it's wrong. When they told me that, and I just did that Haitian style, it was a problem. Because everybody that had to come through that door, whatever language it was, that I could only help them Haitian style. Yes, that's my background. But that doesn't mean that that's the only people I can cater to. Because it, it wouldn't be realistic. Okay? I don't live just in Haiti. And even in Haiti, it's not just Haitians that live there. There's all types of people everywhere. Learn the universal language of spirituality you don't have to worry about whether you could speak the language or not. Stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to talk about the different candles and the lamps that you can use and build for you to eat, whether for your ancestors or your spirits. I want to talk to you about the quality of the waxes, and I also want to talk to you about this lamp, okay, and how to use it if you want to use it for a particular spirit or if you want to use it for your ancestors and how to use it. Okay, stay tuned for the next video. This is part one of it. And subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell so you know when I make them. And so you could be on the same page as me. So therefore, you'll understand when I use certain words, why I use them, how I use them, so you could get to know me. Visit my website, www.odanlawouge.com. Let's grow from there. Let's get it cracking, let's get it doing so that we could grow spiritually because that's the end of the day. That's what we as humans have our responsibility to ourselves to grow spiritually. Okay, good day to everybody. Let me say um, goodbye to my Haitian viewers and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's explain to you. Let's explain to you. Let's explain to you. Let's explain to you.
Quel que soit si c'est dans Vaudouan, si c'est dans Santaria, si c'est dans le Chinois, Vaud et, et Bouda, quel que soit ça, hein, le que vous avez servi l'esprit, le que vous avez servi bon Dieu, quel que soit ça, il hein, faut bien en relation avec l'esprit, hein, avec loi, avec les saints. Hein. Vous comprenez? Parce que si vous pas gagné en relation avec loi, ça, avec l'esprit, ça, hein, ou on ne peut pas faire tout le monde. C'est pour nous même avec l'esprit en qui j'ai pour nous parler, pour nous faire un dialogue, pour aider nous dans l'autre, pour que nous ayons un travail qui a besoin de faire, pour nous faire un lait sur la carte, pour nous même avec l'esprit en sous la même route, pour nous parler le même langage, pour nous aider les gens. Si on ne peut pas faire des lois qui nous servent, si que wap mette wap chita en côté wap dit tête tout comme ça que oh oui et 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 e, maman papa yo pas de bon moins ça yo pas de bon moins de ça yo pas de bon moins de ou c'est fort yo que mon père dit route là parce que c'est pas vrai parce que si que on moun on seul moun qui te ka ba ou tout bagay moun n'a pas de temps pour te ba ou tout bagay là et puis pour aider tout l'autre petit moun yo petit moun ka yo ou qu'on peut s'en dire, c'est ça qui fait fort aider tête tout, de de l'air. Faut faire mistake, faut faire et e, e, erreur, ne soit pas faire pour qu'on connaisse si quel bon, si quel pas bon. C'est bagaille ça, nous pas qu'à comprendre. Je ne pas parler pour tout le monde, je ne parle pas pour tête moi. Parce que je me suis fait quand je suis en 2004, je me suis pensé, maman, je ne suis pas bon tout le Parce que c'est ça que je me c'est ça que je me promets moi. Mais regardez, et pas de bagarre aujourd'hui. Moi-même avec lui-même, ce n'est pas comme ça que je vais Et pas pour dire que c'est moi-même qui entends, ce n'est pas pour dire que c'est lui-même qui entends. Gue de l'air, on moune vin grand moune, non a fait lui pour tête lui. Ou qu'on peut s'en vouloir dire là, gue de l'air, moune nan, li move on dans la vie. Hein? Ou, ou, pa, ou, ou, pa, you, ou même avec lui-même, nous ne pas parler encore. Mais, quel que soit... Loi pas dit qu'on ça que oh oui m'a parlé avec maman seulement pour maman vin motro on se débagay m'a 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 motro loi li même là li pas ka ba ou tout bagay comme ça non mais chaque bagay chaque bagay pour la peine porter faut qu'on qui j'en pour li faut qu'on qui j'en pour acheter livre qui gagne pour faire avec baleine lampe ding faut qu'on ait tout bagay ça parce que ou pas j'en connais L'on l'autre monde qui sorti dans l'autre nation, qui a venu là pour le faire un service, et puis il faut qu'on ait des pour aider lui. Parce que si c'est seulement dans le vaudouan ou où il y a des gens, il ne pas payer des têtes, il ne pas avancer des têtes. Parce que faut qu'on ait des que toute l'autre nation qui servit la loi, dans la religion palio, dans l'esprit palio, parce que yo gagne l'esprit yo yo relé en nom différent parce que même si nous relé Freda parce que Freda l'amour l'or et relation et en um, et belle bagaille l'argent chance bagaille ça yo yo même yo gagne l'esprit comme ça mais yo pas relé Freda yo relé en l'autre nom pour yo 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 gagne Freda pa yo nous connaissons parce que nous avons des photos. C'est ça que je veux dire. Il faut connaître les choses. Parce que dès que vous éclairer ou aider les têtes, vous ne pouvez pas aider les gens. Allez avec bon Dieu et les saints. C'est où vous avez encore. Allez dans le website www.odanlarouge.com. Subscribe dans le channel pour nous tout avancer dans la vie de vos dons. Pour tout bien. Bye bye.